fans. Today I want to talk to you about one of the cameras that I've had for for a while, and I did a how to use video a few years back. Um, due to the fact I have a whole bunch of other cameras I haven't shot with them, with this particular one in a while, so today it seems like a perfect perfect um, occasion for that. Uh, we're taking our kids to to see Santa at the local uh, park and I decided to shoot with my Zorky, uh, Zorky S. I got this camera off eBay um, a few years ago. I paid like 30 some dollars. came in in pretty good condition except for the fact that in really cold weather it starts um, it starts jamming a bit. I think it's caused by the yak fat the Russians use to um, as, as a lubricant on these cameras. That's a joke. Probably they didn't use yak fat. They they use some other lubricant. But the lubricant is drying off, and it's causing the camera to to jam in really cold weather. We're talking um, uh, sub-zero temperatures. One time I took it out, and it was probably five or ten below zero with wind chill. The camera wouldn't want to work. Uh, so I'm going to take it out and and today and shoot with it. I got a, a roll of uh, color Kodak Ektar 100 film and I want to shoot a color roll with this because I haven't shot color with it yet. And I'm going to take um, take the camera and the roll of film to the table and show you how to load it because it's, it's a little bit different than the standard 35mm. Uh, it's a really cool camera. I mean, I'm not going to talk about details since there's already a video uploaded about it. You can look it up. But it's a pretty cool camera. and You can buy different lenses for it. The lenses is a collapsible, uh, collapsible, um, what the heck is it? Industar. It's an Industar lens. Uh, and it's a really fun camera to shoot. The only problem I've noticed is that if I shoot with gloves on, or if I'm not really careful, this little uh, exposure counter scale, the counter um, disc, it rotates. So what happens, if I advance the film, sometimes I just, my big fat fingers just rub against it and turn it, so I don't know which exposure I'm at. But other than that, it works fine. Um, it focuses really precisely and it, it works really good. So let me do it. take it over to the table and I'll, I'll angle the camera down so you can see how, how to load the film. I forgot my film. Okay, so the first thing is first. You need to take the camera out of its case. That is done simply by unscrewing this humongous um, tripod holder slash knob thing. I like to make sure my lens is collapsed. And then here on the bottom you have um, a little tab that you lift up. And it says in Russian it's sort of like close and open. So I'm going to open and the bottom comes off, just like a Leica 3, because this is essentially a copy of Leica 3. And here comes out a little um, take-up spool. I'll put this aside and grab the film. Another clear plastic, but that's a uh, different film, different video. So what I do here, I pull out about 10 centimeters, that's uh, about 5 inches, roughly, 4 or 5 inches of a uh, film meter. And I take my scissors in here to see how uh, the film is narrower. So I just follow that along the roughly about 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter uh, length, and I do this. Okay, so now I grab my take-up spool. Just want to make sure that 
it's going to go correct uh, orientation, which is like this. And here what I, here's what I do. There's a little metal metal spring thing there. So I just pop this thing, pop the leader under the spring. And I just uh, twist it around like one one revolution. Then let me put this here. When I do it in field, I just put on my lap or I put on something soft so I don't scratch the lens. And basically what I do, I just slip the whole film inside the camera. And the film slides in behind this whole lens assembly gizmo. Okay, now the trick is, is the film curves and twist to get it in there smooth so it doesn't kink. There you go. Now it's nice and tight in there. As you can see, this slides into this little narrow slit. That's why you have to cut it and if, you, if it's bent or out of um, out of whack, you'll you'll try to jam because it's really it's really tight fit. Now everything is in position. I hope. So I take my uh, bottom plate and I put it on. And as you can see, there's a little tab, a little tab here, a little um, button here. So these go together like that. And now there you go. Now this guy goes in there, falls in place, and then just twist it closed. Now that you have it closed, you just basically couple blank exposures. I like to do three because of the leader. And that's it. And then what you do is take this little ring here and then you zero out the the counter. Like so so that the zero is um, it's right about here. And you put it back in its case, and that's essentially it. It's 36 exposure film, and I hope to take 36 exposures. Well, maybe less because of the leader, maybe 30. But it's a cool camera, nevertheless. It's really fun to use. Until next time.